Howdy gang, it's Zippo and Helper. Turtle over X4. Back with you again. Uh, this is a quick uh, video reply, video response to uh, Humans for Targets uh, on the differences between the Ruger Mark II's and the Ruger Mark III's. Uh, although Humans for Targets Ruger Mark II was uh, a heck of a steal at $120, um, I traded in my Walther uh, for my Ruger. So, I feel like I definitely stepped up. I really like the Ruger a whole lot better. And I told the history of why I wanted to get a Ruger on another video. This one's just going to show the changes uh, that were made between the Mark II and the Mark III. First, I'll show you guys the magazine is empty. And I'm also going to show you that the chamber is empty. And I'm going to discharge in a safe direction after I put it on fire. Okay, there we go. Other differences. The first, how, why don't I try the first difference? I did this. This is our fourth take, people. We got to get this one right. So I'm just not going to quit. If I flub up, I'll, I'll, you guys go ahead and laugh. Um, magazine release on the Mark II is here. Magazine release on the Mark III is here, right there. Push that button, out she comes. Uh, another, and I have to cock it in order to get it into safety, so we'll go ahead and cock it and put it in safe. Now, in safe, you have a hole just below your safety trigger. That is for this key. Let me see how close we can get here so you can see that key real up close and personal. See that? It's a hex key with a hole in the middle of it. Really, really tiny. And that goes down into this hole. And you turn it until it stops. That is your trigger lock and your safety lock. Safety cannot be moved. Trigger cannot be pulled. Uh, for further safety, you can also pull the bolt back and Ruger sends a rather large padlock with this gun so that you can put the lock through here to lock the slide back so that it won't come all the way forward. So that is uh, two of the differences. And we're going to go on to another difference. Let me go ahead and decock this again. Safe direction. Okay. Now, uh, another difference. The slide is narrower. You, know, you cannot use, uh, well, Quartzen, I think, makes uh, an extended uh, release for the target shooters that you can just grab with one side, actually, and pull your slide back. Um, I've not seen one on, out on the market yet. I'm sure it won't be long. If it's too much longer, I'm going to go ahead and make one of my own. Um, but this is narrower here, so the pull on it is uh, a little more difficult. My 11-year-old has just a little bit of difficulty cocking the gun. Um, after that, it's all gravy for her. Now, I'm also left-handed, just like humans for targets. I did not find the mag release a problem. Um, the reason that I bought the Walther initially was because it had the mag release right down here at the base of the bale, the finger guard, and uh, it you could operate it from either side, left or right. And the same thing with the, the uh, hammer block safety was the same thing up here on both sides. Uh, then I got to looking at the Ruger and thinking, you know, the couple little things that get in the way of a left-handed shooter, um, it, it's irrelevant when it comes to uh, a gun of this quality. Uh, it's certainly things that you can overlook. Uh, next up is the loaded chamber indicator. The loaded chamber indicator is this gray bar right here. It's been milled into the side of the gun. The first release of this loaded chamber indicator, the problem I guess was is that the loaded chamber indicator itself could set off around. Um, they have fixed that problem. It was a one piece. They have changed that. This is now a three piece. It's also made out of, I believe, plastic. Um, at least it feels like plastic and it acts like plastic. It doesn't have a metal uh, ting to it when you tap it. Uh, and it says right inside it, it's hard to see, uh, it says loaded chamber indicator. Oh, let's get up close here. 
Yeah, I think you can make that out. Loaded chamber indicator right there. All right. Um, if you've got a round in the mag or in the barrel uh, with the gun upside down or right side up, either way, it doesn't matter. It will show you. Let's get it in the picture here. Picture. That's kind of hard to do. Okay, there you can see it. It says loaded underneath, and it also says loaded on the top. And there's a little red indicator also. It's the little red tab there. So th those are the differences. Um, there's also a magazine safety where the gun will not fire with the gun, or if the gun does not have the magazine in. Um, other than that, uh, just look between the two guns and how they're configured, other than mine not being blued and having the tapered barrel. Uh, the two guns uh, are very, very similar. They come apart the same way. They go together the same way. Uh, this one is a little bit trickier, I guess, to put together than the Mark III is. But if you can put the Mark, or excuse me, Mark II, but if you can put the Mark III together, or let me try this one more time. I learned my one, two, threes in kindergarten, but I've since forgotten them. Okay. Mark II is relatively easy to disassemble and reassemble once you get used to it. The same thing holds true with this. Uh, in fact, my 11 year old daughter can field strip this down for cleaning in eight seconds. Uh, and then her best time putting it back together, I had it wrote down here, uh, was uh, 39 seconds. Uh, getting it back together. She has a little bit of trouble at the very end getting the pin up in there. And that's not with Russian. She's watching all of her P's and Q's and making sure that everything's done correctly. So once you get adept to the gun and get accustomed to it, um, it is uh, a, a very nice gun to, uh, to work with and to clean. Um, but I've also heard of people that have shot five, six, seven, eight hundred rounds through before a cleaning and uh, the gun just keeps working flawlessly with any kind of ammo. So we're going to try to throw a bunch of ammo to it uh, this coming weekend if we can, if the weather permits. And uh, I'll give you guys a report. I'll bring the video camera out for that. And because uh, my um, youngest, uh, my oldest is out of cheer camp, so my young, it's just my youngest and I, so we can go out and do a little bit of target planking. But uh, I guess that's really all that I have. And we haven't heard anything at all from Turtle Ever X4 this time, but stay tuned. You might get to hear some from her later on. This is Zippo. We'll talk to you all later. I'm out.